Office Killing, presented by the Miss Products Store. It was a windy, cloudless night with a full moon out, and Sandra Parks was working late alone as her boss left to attend to a sick child. I'll see you tomorrow, Sandra. Lock up when you're done. She was staying late because of the divorce of her husband, Andy. After Mr. Grant left, he realized he forgot his keys. Have you, uh, Sandra, have you seen my keys? Sandra? Sandra? 911, please state your emergency. One of my co-workers has just been stabbed with a letter opener. Where did this happen? The Blue Tech Diamond Institute, Institute 3837 Hudson Street. After the police arrived, they found blood on the phone in Mr. Grant's hands. Do you have any idea who committed this crime? No, I don't. I didn't see the murder happen. I'll get one of our detectives on the case. A few minutes later, a jet black 67 Impala with tinted windows pulled up and two men stepped out. This is Andy Parks and his assistant, Mr. Price. My wife has been killed? Yes, I'm sorry. I just found her there. Who do you think killed her? Judging from the blood on your hands and the phone, I guess that you committed the murder. But I didn't. There's no evidence that you didn't, but there's a lot saying you did. I'll go back and try to check the crime scene. After Mr. Price checked the crime scene, the men took Mr. Grant to court. This mystery broadcast is brought to you by the, the Miss Product Store. The store to get all your non-working needs. We have the racket with no strings, a dark bulb, a car with no wheels, and a chair with no seat, the clock that runs backwards, the yo-yo with no string on the globeless globe, and the pencil with two erasers. Come in today and get 0% off anything. <laughs> now back to the mystery broadcast. Order! Order in the court! Tell me exactly what happened. I was working late with Mrs. Parks, and I left to attend to my sick child. I realized I had forgotten my keys at my desk, and when I returned, I saw Sandra lying dead on the floor. I tried to pull the letter opener out of her chest, and then I called 911. What evidence do you have, Mr. Parks, that proves Mr. Grant committed the crime? Mr. Grant's fingerprints were on the letter opener. Also, there was blood on Mr. Grant's hands and phone. I don't believe there is enough evidence to sentence Mr. Grant. You have 48 hours to figure out who committed the murder. And the men started to leave, but the judge interrupted. Mr. Grant, we are keeping you in jail until this is over. Mr. Parks and Mr. Price left to investigate the crime scene one last time. Look, I found some hair on the floor. Pick it up. The men left and headed to the forensics lab at the police station. This hair, I think it's yours, Andy. It couldn't be. I stayed here late to file some papers, and I've never been to that office. You weren't there. I was the only one there. You can check the security cameras. We're going back to court. The men in the janitor, janitor got in their car and headed to court. Order! Order in the court! <coughs> have you figured this out yet? Yes, we have. What happened? We found Mr. Park's hair at the crime scene. I, I didn't do it. I've never been to that office. I was at the police station. He wasn't there. I was the only one there. I brought the security camera footage for evidence. The judge showed the footage of Andy's office, and there was nobody there. Mr. Parks, did you murder your wife? Did you? Andy started running towards the door. Stop right there! The guard tackled Mr. Parks and cuffed his hands behind his back. Did you kill her? Y yes, I did. Why did you kill her? She filed for divorce and I didn't want it, so I killed her. I did it. I did it. I sentenced you to life in prison. The end. The end.